So you want to know how to make some sick characters in mid journey? I got three things you should know. First, I'll show you how you can use the remix feature to alter the look of your character. And then I'll show you two things you can use in your prompt to generate some crazy looking pictures. Are you ready? Let's say you have a prompt, a bull in future tech armor. What I want you to pay attention to is the chaos parameter. Here I have it at dash dash chaos 85, and this will bring variety into your generations. As you can see, each of these four images look pretty different from each other. And I think that's important. So important because look how good number three is. This is exactly what I was looking for. Now we're gonna make sure the remix feature is turned on. You can do this by hitting forward slash remix so that these variation buttons no longer just create variations. Now we can edit the prompt. And the important lesson to learn here is that I don't want you to edit the meat of your prompt. Bull in future tech armor needs to stay the same or you're going to see mid journey stray far from your prompt. So you could write your new style after or before. I like to use before. I don't think it really matters though. We're going to write an anime bull in future tech armor. Now look at what it creates. Pretty cool, right? You see what it did to it? Number three and number four are exactly what I was looking for. Number three is pretty sick. But instead of writing anime, we could have written different words or different colors. Like here, a blue bull in future tech armor. Here's a pixel art bull in future tech armor. Look at that monstrosity. And here's what I was warning you about. I don't want you to change the meat of your prompt. Instead of a blue bull in future tech armor, I have a bull in blue future tech armor. I'd say one and two aren't bad, but three not quite, and four is not what we were looking for. Keep the heart of your prompt intact. Here's what I mean. You can't just write the tweak you want. You can't just write blue armor or you're gonna get weird stuff like this. You need to keep your prompt intact. Please remember that when using the remix feature. Now on to tip number two. Here's something you can add to your prompt to completely change the character design. Some of you may know this well, some of you may have heard of it before, but the phrase you're gonna use is Yu-Gi-Oh. More specifically, Yu-Gi-Oh card design. That's what I recommend. Look how sick these are. One, you're gonna get a crazy art style, and two, you're gonna get an absolutely unreal character design. Yu-Gi-Oh card design for a dragon mecha character. Number three is absolutely the love of my life. I think that is so beautiful. I couldn't be more happy. And look at the other ones too. They're all nasty. Yu-Gi-Oh card design for an alpha wizard, chaotic glowing energy, and boom. Love number one, love number two. Some of them will look like cards. You can re-roll them or you can do some things I'll show you after to get rid of that effect. Yu-Gi-Oh card design for a tiger monk. Sick stuff, like, look how good that is. These are unreal. Oof, and here it is blown up. The dragon mecha, powerful. Here's the wizard, so cool. Now I will say that I recommend using that in three by two aspect ratio or 16 by nine, the wider aspect ratios, so that you don't actually get a card in the picture. Because you'll see here, when you include two by three or a more vertical style aspect ratio, you're gonna get things that literally look like cards. Here's the dragon mecha, like these. <laughs> Those are just cards. Pretty good if you want to make a card game, but not exactly if you just want character design. Two more tweaks you can use to the phrase Yu-Gi-Oh. You can include just design. I'd say those words work pretty well. Number two and number three, amazing. And then you can use this if you're feeling extra spicy. You can use the phrase monster design. Not everything in Yu-Gi-Oh is a monster, but there are a lot of monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. So this will stay with the art style, but add a much more supernatural element to it. Queen of the shallow waters. You can even spell things wrong and it doesn't matter. I love mid journey. This is kind of a fun one. I tried King Ham sandwich, Yu-Gi-Oh character design. Didn't work out that well. And this is a good point to note. Do not use character design. Because in Yu-Gi-Oh, there are characters and then there are monsters. We want to focus on the monsters. If you use characters, you're going to get these humanoid looking characters specifically. And I think that's something you'd probably want to avoid. It's not necessary to get some cool pictures. Like, look at this one. Queen of the War Yu-Gi-Oh monster design. These are... <laughs> You don't want to mess with those ladies. And then you see here how adding card design on a vertical aspect ratio completely turns it into a card. Look how good that is. Shout out to the queen of the shallow waters. 
God, that's so awesome. One last tip for the Yu-Gi-Oh card design. You can add in dash dash no frame text, which is negative prompting. It's gonna remove, hopefully, the frame and text from any image. So if you want a card design, but don't want it to look like an actual card, I highly recommend negative prompting. Look at what you can get. The perfect center framing, but without the card border. Highly recommended. Now on to tip number three. It's another thing you can include in your prompts. And I promise you, I don't think you've ever heard of this one before. The phrase we're going to use is Fortnite loading screen style. Don't ask me how I came up with this one. It just kind of came to me one day and it works perfectly. Look at these pictures. Queen of the War Fortnite loading screen style. Oh my gosh. Absolutely stunning images, amazing character design. You get an unreal art style with some theme accurate backgrounds. And that's what really surprised me about this. Not only do you get a queen, but you get the throne too. And just the whole vibe, it really nails it. Let's take a look at this next example. Queen of the Shallow Waters, Fortnite loading screen style. Look how good these are, man. The sea monsters in the background. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of hard to get on your own without this phrase. For some reason, Fortnite loading screen style brings together the whole package. Character design, accessories, background, vibe. It's just way too perfect not to share with you all. And I'd say it works decently in a two by three aspect ratio as well. You get some pretty stunning images like here in number three, that's perfect. The queen of the shallow waters. This might be my favorite picture. Look, it's just, it's too perfect. And the last tip I have for you is that using the stylized value and the chaos value works great. Here it is in two by three, stylized 1000. It's hard to say what the stylized value does, but it certainly ups the creativity that you're gonna see. It's a lot easier to understand what the chaos value does. Here's chaos 100, and you're gonna get a lot more variety from one prompt from one generation. Notice how none of these really look similar. And adding them together, that being stylized and chaos, you can get some pretty amazing pictures. There you have it. There are my few tricks to making some sick characters in Mid Journey. I hope you use that knowledge to your advantage. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.